so then he takes me back to his place and I'm expecting some fun time and he tells me he wants to cuddle. He wants to fucking cuddle? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you sure he's not gay? Positive. He has no religious affiliation that would keep him in the closet and my Miss Vanji reference went right over his head. Maybe he was just trying to be a gentleman. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> if I wanted a gentleman, I'd sign up for Christian Mingle or eHarmony. I met him on Tinder. It should be assumed that I'm DTF. So what happened? I fucking cuddled him. And then at 5 a.m. I called a lift home and then I sent him a Venmo request for $65. Wait, for what? That's how much my Brazilian cost. <laughs> I didn't get my kitty waxed for nothing. You are a classy broad, you know that? I'm very well aware that I'm a unique soul. <sighs> hey man, decide what you want. Can I get two lagers and two shots of whiskey, please? Yeah, any particular brand? Well, it's fine. You got it. You from out of town? No, I live here. My bad. I just saw the suitcase and figured uh, I was traveling. Ah, well, whiskey's a good jet lag cure. Enjoy. With the death toll up to 58 and more than 400 injured, we're looking at the worst mass shooting in our country's history. While the FBI tries to figure out what this made story? this man carry out such yeah, a tragedy, no, we've heard right? from our the experts. Worst one? Yeah, and, we'll and they think the death toll the could still go up. The ground. A bunch of people still in the ICU, apparently. Do they know why yet? Fucking clueless. One of our news reporters said they're interviewing the guy's girlfriend, but as of right now, nobody saw any signs. Nothing. So fucked up. How fucked in the head do you have to be? I feel like this type of thing happens a lot more now than when we were kids. There's more media now, too. It's reported on quicker. It's sensationalism. It's an appeal for these sick fucks. Hmm. I don't think so. Look at Columbine. There were school shootings before Columbine. True, but not as many. I was talking to the same news guy about it. He said in the 1900s there were 18 gun-related incidents in schools per decade. In the first decade after Columbine, there were 62. I mean, I'm sure some of them, yeah, for the notoriety, but I mean, look at the Sandy Hook kid. He was just straight up sick and surrounded by guns. There were warning signs every fucking direction you looked and it still happened. This last guy wasn't even in school. Well, sure, some of these guys are just crazy. It's not like Pulse where the guy was so deep in the closet that he took it out the way he did. Some of these crazies don't need a motive. You can't prevent that. I mean, I get that, but you gotta start somewhere. Let me guess, gun control? Gun reform, yeah. <laughs> Forget it. I didn't peg you for the hunting type. I'm not, but I'm also not naive. Every time one of these things happens, the left screams gun control and the right screams Second Amendment. It's always CNN versus Fox and a bunch of talking heads screaming, thinking whoever's the loudest wins the fight. Yeah, but I feel like People are speaking out. I mean, people want change around this stuff. <laughs> On Twitter, maybe. People drop a couple mentions at the NRA for likes and comments. Grandmas on Facebook add filters and banners to their pictures as if that'll magically make all the guns disappear. A bunch of different colored ribbons to raise awareness. What awareness do we need to raise? It's all over the news. We're aware. People say they want change because they want to look like they give a shit, but they're too lazy to actually do anything. It's just, I don't know, it's just fucked up. The problem is that we can't pinpoint the problem. Is it the guns? Is it crazy people? Is it crazy people getting their hands on guns? Or is it crazy people not getting their hands on proper care? We could always go back to blaming the parents. Historically speaking, they make great scapegoats. Again, fucked up. Can you imagine what it must be like? Terrifying. Not knowing where to run? My dad's company actually just had an active shooter drill a couple of weeks ago to teach people what to do, like what exits to use depending on where the shooter was. Yeah, my little cousin just had one in school too. She's five. 
wonder if I'd realize right away. Realize what? Just what was happening. Hearing the gunshots and realizing that they were gunshots. I mean, I've heard them in movies and on TV, and I had a BB gun when I was like nine. But I don't know if I'd realize right away. Fireworks. What's up, man? Fireworks. Sounds like fireworks. He was still on stage. Thought it was part of the set. I was by the beer tent and I turn around to look at the lights. I've always loved fireworks. So is my girl. I was trying to get a good picture, but I didn't see any lights. I looked around and that's when I saw the first body. She was just laying there. Her friend was starting to realize what had happened. We were all starting to realize what was happening. body tells you to run it screams at you to run so you run but it was dark and we didn't see any guns you think to look for a shooter run in the opposite direction but I didn't see any shooter just fireworks and falling bodies. Masses of people scurrying for cover. Some people found cover and some scurried right into the bullets. I finally found a table and a couple of us uh, hid behind it until after we couldn't hear the fireworks anymore. I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to put a damper on your evening. It's fine. Are you okay? No. Not really. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, stupid question. I should actually be going, uh, Fight's catching up with me. Maybe a shot for the road? Yeah, of course. Uh, on the house. Hey, were you meeting someone? I can keep these for when they get here. Oh, my girlfriend. They haven't told me it when she'll be sent home. And the White House condemning these actions. President Trump has sent his warmest condolences via Twitter. Federal resources are on hand. Just trying to figure out how oh, this man. all happened. Fuck is right. We'll come back with entertainment news. And Kylie Jenner pregnant? Well, a secret source told us she... Hey, man, can you throw the uh, socks game on? Yeah, first. sure thing. Stay with us. And going into the seventh inning, it is not looking what? good for Boston. Are you it's fucking kidding me? Fucking bastards can't even get a eight. fucking run to save their goddamn lives. Keep hope alive can I get a beer from you, bro? This American yeah. League division right series, which saw Houston take the first well, I should be getting out of here. I still have a lot of work to do before I can head to bed. Anything fun? A new quiz? Which Mean Girls character are you based off of your favorite sex position? <laughs> what does either of those things have to do with the other? They don't. <laughs> Your job is bullshit, you know that? And yet the checks keep getting deposited. Hey, as long as you keep spending them here. Oh, you bet. Have a good night, Brian. All right, man. Come the fuck on, are you kidding me?